Welcome back to the shop. In this episode, we got old green truck here. My dad's 1989 F-250. It looks blue in the camera, but trust me, she's green. And uh, yeah, she got a little problem. She got the old Flintstone tech. You drive down the road and your feet try to dangle out the bottom of the floor. So we're going to address that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Well, like I said in the intro, we got the, this 89 F-250 of my dad's, what's affectionately known as green truck. In this light, it kind of looks blue, but it actually kind of is a green. I got helper shop dog there, and I got my daughter Stella. Hi. And uh, so we we went through and regasketed the motor on this, this uh, fine specimen here. It's way too good of a truck to hit in the head, but uh, so... Now, the next issue is, now that the motor's resealed and it runs, we don't need to Flintstone the thing anymore. So uh, we're gonna weld the floor pan in. So stick with me here and we'll uh, get on welding this floor pan in. days and cut the hell out of my thumb um weather's finally turned here in new york and i ain't got any heat out here yet but we just got persevere you know so we got the floor pan and uh came from lmc truck i believe is where he got it from and you just kind of got to throw it in there till it halfway fits where it kind of needs to be and it ain't restoration quality you ain't going to win at pebble beach with with this floor pan but it's good enough for an old ford truck if you could win at pebble beach with an old ford truck i commend you but uh just put it in there and trace around it now you got to remember where you trace that ain't where you're going to cut i mean you could you could do it and you could you know, butt welded in there. I've done it. it. I think it might give you a little bit nicer result, but it's also a hell of a lot more work. It's a lot harder. And being that this floor is way gone, you know, this side's gone and the brace is gone, we're going to have to get slightly more custom with it. So you want to leave yourself a little more room for error. So we're just going to come in about an inch around that mark and we're going to cut. And then we'll zap some holes in this guy and we'll just plug weld it, rosette weld it, whatever, whatever fancy term you want to call it, but we'll just do that and then we'll smear it with some seam sealer and we'll call her a cigarette. But, uh, so it's in there. I traced around it. Now I got to cut some metal, get the old one out, and then we can start tweaking on this new one a little bit, get him, get him stuck in there. So I guess we'll, uh, time lapse her and we'll keep right on going. I did this off camera because uh, I'm using my phone and I don't really know if you can weld and record it or whatever without messing up your phone and, oh well whatever so I made this piece in here rosette welded it all in there just cut it out of a piece of an old Ford truck hood figured put old Ford junk back in old Ford junk made this piece right here and the rocker because it was missing from about there to there where you drag your foot in um this brace right here i was going to get all fancy and 
you know, try to contour it and everything, you know, make it look just like the original. Found myself a small piece of angle iron and said, well, that's probably better yet. So got a small piece of angle iron from there, welded it in up there. And then the back of this cab mount was, uh, wasn't really going to give me much to weld to. So I used the cutoff piece of that angle iron and just put it right across there and just burned it right in. Welds look like crap, but you know, when you're welding crap and you can't really get to it and I'm going to keep making excuses, but so there's that piece right there across the back of the um, cab mount and it's, it's actually pretty good and solid. So that'll give us that. Now we just got to have to trim this piece here because I can't read a tape measure apparently. Basically just have to cut it like straight across right there and then the floor pan will fit himself right on there. We'll have to grind all the way around and we got to see if we can grind up in the front which it's a real pain and then we'll have to figure out where that piece there is so we can drill some holes and plug weld it there plug weld it there and then I'd like to plug weld it right across here um, pretty sure it was plug welded across there from the factory but there's no telling because it's so much is missing then like the cab mount up in there which I'm not going to show you that because it'd probably make you puke but that's all gone but we're just gonna we're just gonna forget we saw that and uh i mean cabs on there good and solid ain't no chance of it really falling off i don't believe so uh yeah so that's where we're at so once i get the floor pan in then i need to make this piece from here all the way back to there and like i said i'd like to get that seat belt out of there but uh there ain't really much uh much to grab onto to turn that bolt so I think that might be opening a whole new can of worms, but if, I guess if I gotta, I gotta. There's a, another rust hole right there, but like I said, we'll smear a little seam sealer in there, forget we saw that. Um, we'll have to, once we get this welded in, I'll go around with some seam sealer, get some right in here, because there's really nothing there to weld to, and then kind of up along the side there too. Um, basically, all we're trying to do here is keep your feet from dangling through the floor, and to keep that nice cold, uh, new york winter air from coming in so that's all we're doing and we'll be good it uh it'd be good enough for an old ford truck and then we probably we might nip some of that guy over there in the bud too but i'd like to get this done so i can start on my duramax i just got 700 dollars worth more parts for that but yeah so we'll just keep plugging away here i'll probably do it off camera and then show you show you what i'm doing well there, I wasn't kidding when I said we were going to have to get creative back here in this back corner. I, I should have videoed it before, but I got going on it and didn't. But these Ford truck cabs are notorious for this whole rocker and this uh, B-pillar here just going whoop and falling right down. We've had two of them do it, and this one was on its way. I honestly think what was holding the damn thing was the running board. The running board bolts up the back of the cab and then bolts along the rocker panel right there so i mean yeah that's probably why one of the reasons it rotted but uh hey shop dog um probably one of the reasons it rotted but it was holding the cab up so i ended up getting some uh i don't know if it's eighth or three sixteenths uh diamond plate i had laying around there and we welded from the back cab mount piece that goes all the way across right up here to this uh bracket on the b pillar and then we went down the side of that bracket, the seat belt retractor bolts in in this area right here. So then we, uh, I just cut a piece of the plasma and welded him on the front there. She's good. She's good. She's good and solid now. And then uh, I got this piece. He needs a little trimming and I got to make that thing right there. But once that's done, then I got about 787 spot welds to put in and uh, should be done. So...
welded in there. We got this piece welded in. Missed on my holes a little bit right there, so I just welded up around that seam. It seemed to weld pretty good. I just like I missed with the holes up there in the front right through there. I didn't weld those up. Those looks like five right there because uh wasn't touching nothing. Same with this one right here in the middle. I was going to try and get it down to the, the floor brace, but uh, a little more gap in there than I uh, would have had from the factory. But uh, right here, again, nothing to weld to. I'll just kind of give that a little snip out there on the corner so the FWD lever will still move every direction. But it ain't pretty, but uh, it'll keep your feet from doing the old uh, Flintstone tech out the bottom there. But uh, we'll hit her up with a flap wheel on the grinder. I still have one more piece I have to make, actually. I have to make a little uh, piece here with a 9-0 on it. Go across there to hold the weather stripping for the door on the bottom there. That should be child's play to put that guy in. Um, yeah, I mean, this is what we're dealing with here. But she's uh, she's better than she was. It ain't perfect. It's every, every time you go to do this, it uh, it always turns into uh, oh my goodness, and where do I stop? So I mean, we had the floor pan was gone as you saw in the first part of the video and then I had to make this piece here and then I had to make this piece which they sell this piece and had pulled the carpet up beforehand uh, we would have got that piece but it was it was relatively easy to make it ain't say it ain't pretty but she ain't gonna win no beauty contest anyways and had to you know do a chunk of the rocker there I mean the right way to do it probably would have been to I don't know if you can buy those pieces I know you can buy these um, you know, cab corners, rockers, that piece, and floor and everything, but what, where the hell do you stop? I mean, it's a 89 truck, it's going to get a snow plow on it, and, you know, where do you stop? If you had unlimited time, you could go right after it, but uh, that's where we're at. Like I said, I just wanted to show that any idiot could do this, um, and like I said before, you don't even, don't even need a welder with the panel bond stuff anymore. I mean, I, I'm not ready to jump on the panel bond bandwagon but other people have so you know you get all those little rosette welds in there she'll hold she'll hold just fine oh and there's that it's in it ain't pretty but she's in used a tube SEM seam sealer smeared it around there did just what the factory would do don't let anybody fool you I found it on a couple of these older vehicles. If they had a had a small gap, just pack her right full of seam sealer and send her out the freaking door. So if it's okay for Ford, Henry Ford to do this, it's okay for Carnes Motorsports to do this. So she seam sealed up and then uh, probably should have paint matched it, you know what I mean? But I just found a can of rubberized undercoating on the shelf and we hosed her. Just keep her from rusting, you know what I mean? And far side over there, I just put a small patch in about yay big probably a complete and utter waste of time because we're going to be doing it on that side so i don't know but there it is i'm gonna leave that dry put the rubber mat back in throw the seat onto it she'll be race ready so thanks for following along like i said i just want to show that any idiot can do this you know what i mean go buy yourself freaking 150 dollar welder and uh practice with it a few times and you know a couple hundred dollars worth of tools would pay for itself once it's probably cost you know small fortune at the body shop get done but you know what i mean so we did that and uh there she is and finally get this damn thing out the door get that duramax and get the heads ripped off it so anyways everybody thanks for watching